Anything yet? Guardian of Galaxies. Cosmo, buddy. Where have you been? We've been calling you. Sorry, Peter Quill. Cosmo's bow's been tied. Universal Church of Truth arrive at nowhere. What? Are you okay? He's fine for a moment. Cosmo receive warning in time. But Continuum Cortex is of shutdown for safety. He's been dead, huh? Your little detective trip almost got us killed. We'll fill you in when we get there. Yet. This problem is bigger than Cosmo. Guardian of Galaxies must go to Xandar and ask World Mind for help instead. Cosmo unable to get through. Guardian of Galaxies must actually. Cosmo, are you there? What happened? I am brute. These are the cowards who defiled Lady Hellbender's honor. Oh, good. And who the flark are you? Normally, I would not engage in conversation with inferior life forms. But my contract with Lady Hellbender stipulates otherwise. Therefore, abomination. You may refer to me by my title. I am Captain Glory, leader of the Lethal Legion. A uh, lethal legion? Uh, more like loser legion. <laughs> he surrounded us. Listen, I get that Lady Hellbender's super pissed, but now's really not the best time. Did you think that she would ease her bounty simply because you somehow managed to elude the Blood Brothers in nowhere? Yes. Then you were as imbecilic as they are. You will not elude me. That I can assure you. Just need a few minutes. Stall him, Quill. Why? Where are you going? Did you mute me? <laughs> what? So, how much is Lady H offering you anyway? Is it like a lot? Or are you making a counter offer? Maybe. Depends. What would it take? Nothing. Everyone's got a prize, Glory. Even you. I don't expect those of lower races to understand the basic principles of honor and superiority. When I commit to a contract, I follow through. Always. Yeah, okay. So how much for your honor, then? I cannot be bought. Certainly not by low-life scum such as yourselves. I am Glory of the Kree Empire. And I look forward to the day when the Kree race eliminates your inferior species. Spoken like a true Kree. <laughs> More like an arrogant a-hole. Enough! I will not be disrespected. You will be eliminated. Give it your best shot, Helmet Head. The Milano's gonna blow you out of the sky. <laughs> your ship doesn't have that kind of firepower. Scan again. Possible. Just a little something we picked up in the uh, quarantine zone. Looks like you underestimated us. Oh, <laughs> 
One is all we need. That don't even make sense. We just wasted a ton of you. Woo! <laughs> Who's the inferior life form now, huh? These guys Still. have really bad timing. Peter, I'm picking up something. What? It appears I'll have to finish this myself. So you defeated my fighters. My cruiser will crush you. I'm sure it's very comfortable. I will not be mocked. Then do something about it. You're bad, Guardian. Nope, not a thing. The Milano definitely felt it. Lady Skullshoot us the worst flock in timing! Is she here? Just her goons! This time! Ah. Keep up the barrage. They will not survive it. I'm starting to feel like we pissed off the whole galaxy! A good chunk of them anyway. Really need to work on our PR. for getting paid for killing us. Let me look up the contract real quick. He's chewing us up, Quill. That was a bad hit. We're hit. <laughs> Taking heat. I'm too poor to die, Quill. Or 
how much these creeps are getting paid for killing us. about Lady Hellbender later. Let's just focus on getting to Xandar. Punch it! Yep. Old girl needs a tune-up. We can do it once we reach the station. I ain't letting no bucket head near my... Wow. Talk about cosmic gridlock. I haven't seen this many ships around Xandar since the start of the Galactic War. Open a channel, Groot. Let's see what's going on. I am Groot. I believe our skies are young. Need access to facilities. These ships come from converted worlds. They're refugees. Need immediate docking permission. Please answer us. Groot, that's enough. I don't see any rescue shuttles coming out. They're ignoring them. No. No, 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 no. Nova Corps might be a bunch of self-righteous dome heads, but they're they're supposed to be helping folk. That's their whole flarkin' deal. Relax, Rocket. We'll just call the station and ask to speak to the world mind. Groot. To Nova Corps headquarters. Please state your preferred language of communication. I am Groot. I know, bud, but now we can all follow along with Star Pants' mistakes. How may we assist you? After scanning your ship, our near perfect algorithms pre selected several officer choices. Nova's profiling us? Cadet Nicolette Gold's communication privileges are suspended while we investigate her involvement in unsanctioned cult activity. You should force your spawn to answer us. I can't do that. She's independent. Just pick something, Peter. I am Groot. Centurion Corel's personal communicator has either been destroyed or disabled and could not be reached. For what it's worth, I'm sorry, Quill. Me too. Large and good. Scroll down! The allocation of resources for direct communication with us has been denied. We apologize for the inconvenience. Well, it was worth a shot. Let's try something else. Large and good. Hey, Wallberry, got any ideas? <gasps> Scroll back up! I think I saw someone interesting. Nova number 11249-44396 is out of our sensor range and unavailable for contact. Richard Ryder. Sounds Terran. You seriously don't know who he is? I have yet to meet a Terran of any interest. This menu again? Does that say Nova Prime? Any idea which one? Nova Prime's identity is confidential. And communication with them is forbidden. Until further notice. Huh. Doesn't say which one. Why even list them then? Peter, I think everyone here is too busy or dead to answer. Perhaps we should try another menu. We, we are, are sad, sad to inform you that Denarian Carlos, Carlos is currently missing and is assumed dead. Hey, isn't this that Buckethead we killed on the rock? We definitely did not murder him and definitely did not admit it in front of a Nova Corps console rocket. Congratulations on your decision to join the Corps. To begin, state your full name, designation, or serial number. Richard Ryder. Quill's mom! This strategy is futile. Ah, oh, come on, muscle brain. It might work. Please state your celestial body or artificial installation of origin. Someplace! Earth! I continue to doubt this strategy. 
speech. Yeah, maybe it won't help. I work you. In a few words. Describe, Describe what made you want to join Novacore. Because I'm a sucker. Justice. Looks like the best AI in the world couldn't parse that. Good job, boys. All right, so that was fun, but a complete waste of time. Any other ideas? We should report what Raker is up to. Thank, Thank you for being proactive. However, the galaxy's impending doom makes all future crimes irrelevant. We should tell them about the promise. Right, as if none of these other ships ain't already blasting about it all over the comms. Due to the imminent termination of civilization, we are unable to open new cases. Thank you for attempting to be an outstanding citizen. As all prisons are being evacuated, you may self-sequester wherever you wish. If you pick Creekwill, I'm gonna gnaw your ears off. Eh, better than Creek. Not much better, but better. We are aware of the current threat, but can devote no resources toward fighting it. Why are we letting the Terran select the language? He barely knows his own. Wise choice, but kind of vanilla. I did not know languages had flavors. Do you think turning ourselves in would get their attention? Connecting to banking services. I can't believe that worked. Gardeners of the galaxy. Explain yourselves. Hey, world mind. Long time no see. It's me. Peter Quill, Star-Lord. And, uh, it's Guardians of the Galaxy. Check the addendum. We need your help. To pay a fine? No. No, of course not. You need to save the, the galaxy. galaxy. cannot be saved, Peter Quill. What? A mass, a mass delusion known as the Promise. Is sweeping its systems, converting all who encounter it. In less than, than three cycles, it has spread from the crew of a single star frigate to multiple outposts, worlds, and systems. Praxis 9, Rigel 3. 75.222% of the Andromeda Galaxy, all lost. Of course, she don't mention Contraxia. They, actually. The world mine is collected consciousness. Look, we know who's behind the promise. We've seen it happening up close and personal. We're here to pass on information to you so you can stop How it. How can we be more clear? The Universal Church of Truth cannot be stopped. Told you, they're a collective. It is a machine. Yeah, well, so are parts of me. And you better not call me in it. It can be stopped. Maybe not by us. But you're a war hero. You defeated the Shatari 12 years ago. The, the Resistance and its allies defeated the Shatari, not us alone. And not before the Shatari had destroyed our home world and decimated our people. Yeah, I don't like it either, bud. Should have run when we had the chance. We have already processed 12 million 472,865 combat scenarios. The current probability of defeating the Universal Church of Truth is 0.3%. That is a big number. Is that bad? It sounds bad. It is. Now, if you will excuse us. The Universal Church of Truth's forces draw closer to this region of space. It is critical that we depart before they arrive. You're running away? What about the refugees? You're just gonna leave them defenseless? Our primary directive is the preservation of Xandarian culture. All else is secondary. <laughs> Have you seen what your planet looks like? Zendarian culture is a lost cause. Culture is more than a location. But you're Nova Corps' leader. You have a duty to protect this galaxy. That, that is incorrect. You ain't the leader of the Bucketheads? We do, we do not, not have a duty to protect this galaxy. galaxy. 
We merely police it to get advanced knowledge of potential threats. Serve and protect only ourselves. A logical byproduct of our primary directive. We have officers all over the galaxy laying down their lives for you. And you won't even risk fighting for their sake? The risk is too great. It would be a pointless sacrifice. Unknown reasons. The church is stockpiling resources. Its influence has grown beyond all probabilistic models. Then update your models. We cannot adjust our computations to the enemy's nonsensical power source. You mean faith energy? Faith, as an energy source, is logical. We are unable to compute scenarios to fight that which should not exist. So you're just gonna let the church win? If, if the power source, source cannot be quantified, it, it cannot, cannot be countered. countered. Most sentient beings don't have the luxury of calculating their odds before getting into a fight. You're scared. Yeah, you met a math problem that you don't understand and you're running away from it. Fear is an emotional reaction. Disputable. We, we do, do not, not experience emotion, emotion therefore we, we cannot, cannot be afraid. afraid. Why are you running then? Our primary directive is the preservation yeah, of- Yeah, yeah, bleep, bloop, bloop. Thought you were a class G super intelligence, not an infinite loop. We, we recognize, recognize that you are displeased with our decision to leave. However, your emotional, emotional state is not our primary concern. We did we not, not make this decision without considering all available options. A, a complete, complete search of our databanks only revealed a single entity with the potential to stop them. What is it? Not what, who, I am Warlock, the Church's original Golden God. Unfortunately, he perished in the last year of the Galactic War. Great, so no one? We are, we are pleased you reached the same conclusion we did. It appears that our travel preparations are almost complete. Farewell, no guardians. guardians of the Galaxy. No, 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 wait! Classic Nova Corps. Ain't helped us then, you won't help us now. What? Are you kidding me? Groot says the Flarkin helpline's still asking for fine money. You know what? Screw this. Cancel payment. Peter! What? It's not like Novacore is gonna come after us. They're leaving. Exactly. They're leaving. That was our only chance to get this disabler off the Milano. We can't escape the church with a locked ship. Who cares? By the time it activates, we'll already either be converted or dead. Peter, we've got movement. I'm Groot. They're taking off. Jump, Quill. I know. Petro's promise is becoming real. Peter? Gotta get clear first. Come on. And go! Scott! Whoa! What the flark did you do? I don't know. Why have we stopped? The Loser Legion must have hit something when they ambushed us. I am Groot. Guys, it's only a matter of time before the galaxy accepts the promise. Sacrosanct is back there. We can't just sit here. Nice. And how are we going to do that? We're dead in the flocking water. And if they right. find us, we're screwed. screwed. Freely accepted. Oh, yeah. And without an engine, we're screwed. Guys, anyway. guys, guys, guys. Enough. 
Just stop already! I can't hear myself think! Rocket, fix the engines. How am I supposed to do that? I can't even run a diagnosis. No, I don't care! Just fix it! Scoff? And what are we supposed to do? I don't know, okay? I can't just conjure up answers every two seconds. Fine. Don't. I just... can't do this right now. I need some rest. Screw Nova Corps. Shouldn't have counted on them in the first place. Look, it's our great leader. If you're about to throw another tantrum, do it quietly this time. Hope you can hear yourself think now. Really? Come on, girl. Shoot, shoot. And the bed smells. Great. We have a ship. This is our room? Uh, Why is it so small? Uh, Look at you. Me. Oh. Weird hair. Weird hair. What? What is it? What is this? How are you... me? Come on. The talking raccoon's waiting for you. Everybody is. Uh, Rocket, yeah. He was... fixing that thing that broke. Hey, if we're some kind of big space hero now, why are we running from the bad guys? Uh, it's complicated. No, it's not. Stop running. And we've landed. <sighs> Groot wanted to let you sleep. Can you believe it? <sighs> How long was I out? Long enough to fly us all the way to the quarantine zone. Wait. How do we fly out here? Well, do you want to fix your ship or not? My ship! Yes, your ship. Come on, the others are outside. Once we're outside, should I be looking around, lifting stuff? Oh, there! Let's go!
Look who stumbled out of bed. The rodent made decisions in your sleep. Yeah, yeah, I know. Took you long enough? What? Nikki? We're not supposed to be here. You promised you would get me out of here. I know, but...
Hovat and Camaria will be restored. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, we just need to have faith. <laughs> uh, Drax, you're kind of freaking me out, man. I had to share the good news, Peter Quill. You have lost your family, your mother, the Kree woman. You understand the pain that comes from loss. Drax. But with faith, with the Matriarch's promise, our families can be restored. I, I, Drax, I don't... You have accepted her promise, have you not, Peter Quill? Totally accepted it. I am super stoked to see my mom again. And rejoin your daughter. D yes, right, right, my, my daughter. I knew you would see the truth of her light, Peter Quill. Yep, uh, the truth and light, dead. Not dead, uh, my daughter, it's all super great. This pleases me. I am less certain of the others. The wooden one may come around, but I suspect the assassin and the rodent will resist. Mm -hmm. This makes them a dangerous element to our cause. I must eliminate them. Wait! Why? Because <laughs> they're our family, man. Just give them a chance. It's a lot to process. You truly believe they will accept her promise? I, I know it. Uh, take Gamora. Her dad was Thanos. There's gonna be some stuff to work through before she can accept it. And, and rock it. <laughs> Where to start? He's literally a walking science experiment. What Nikki, uh, the, the, the matriarch, is, is offering, it's, it's all new territory for him. And the wooden one? You said it yourself. You'll come around. I mean, it's Groot, man. He's our rock. Very well, Peter Quill. Good, uh, good. That's 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 great. I'm, I'll, I'll let the others know. Ah, there is no need. We must bring the matriarch here. We'll give them the time they require to consider a promise. Right, uh, right. Because she's a million light years away, and it'll take us time to get there. Already landed on her planet. What? what? Why? Why would you do that? Well, if you had truly accepted her promise, you would know. Perhaps it is better that you wait here for a while and contemplate your faith. We can talk about this! Great.